All right, Cleveland police are looking for the person who pulled off another smash and grab on the west side. This certainly seems to be the thing. I know. Every morning we're talking about this. The latest one happened about 3 this morning at the New Wave Market in Delhi on West 127th in Lorraine. That's where we find our very own Cleveland 19 Sia New Yorker getting answers. And Sia, this makes it the 35th Jeez. smash and grab since January 1st. And this time the suspect did all this damage and only got away with 60 bucks. bucks. Yes, to you and Brian, they got away with $60. We are inside the store. The owners have been kind enough to let us see from their point of view the damage left here. Right there, you can see glass, bottle, food everywhere. And then you look and you see that ATM right there in the middle. That's usually the goal of these things is to get the ATM and get out of here. Now that red van backed into here and and that's what happened. The ATM got stuck under it. So I'm going to go right to that video. You can see that red Dodge Caravan reverse back into the store. You can see the impact uh, from that bottles, glass going everywhere. You see the guys get out. They're going through the register. They are looking for cash, looking for any Thing they can get their hands on. Here's a close up of one of the suspects' face. There were four guys, but here's a real up close and personal picture. You can see him right there on your screen. If you know him, call police. Now, the store owners tell me that they're just glad nobody was here and got hurt. It doesn't matter how much they take, yeah. it's the damage and the frustration, you know, the, the way we have to deal with it. So you can imagine business is going to be closed today as the owners work to assess all of the damage. But police were here on the scene processing this thousands of dollars of damage left. You saw that guy's face on your, your screen. If you know who he is, call police. There were four guys in that red caravan and they took off. They got away with about $60 but left thousands of dollars of damage. So for now, we're reporting here on Cleveland's West Side and getting answers. I'm Sia New Yorker. Back to you. All right, Sia. Thank you.